Alright guys, hello and welcome to another episode of Jurassic World Evolution 2 in Jurassic World Chaos Theory. As promised, we are back in this and as you can see we did... Well, I just logged in and apparently I just completed the mission we last left on which was reaching 800 people in the park. So, I guess we're good there. And it appears that our next mission is to build a functioning gyro station to have at least five dinosaurs viewable from the gyro station. Now, do I have to research that first or do I already have it done? Let's see. It would be... Attractions, I believe. Let's see. Oh, yep, it's done. Oh, we got all of them unlocked. That's good. So... Oh, the music is grand. That's the wrong one. Attractions. So we have all of them. The gyro station and what's this? Oh, building not available. Okay, that's why. Hmm. So we'll just we'll probably just have it like on the main street area over here, which. We should probably have it, like, at a distance. I'm going to park it here. Be oh, wow, the Parasaurolophus has its Lost World call. That's cool. Okay, so what I'm thinking, guys, is we'll, we'll definitely need to have it here for the mission. But what we can do is we'll have an enclosure. Since we'll be having, like, remember I said aviary or lagoon on this side, and then the other on this side, and then between and... On the other side of that like here will be an enclosure here and an enclosure as well what we'll do is like say if we're having say the aviary right here we'll have a strip of aviary then the gyrospheres because I believe they can go through as well as the um, regular trucks they can go through here then here across to whatever enclosure we have here and then loop around back to this that's what I'm thinking we can do because you know that'll allow to get loads of views from the guests for dinosaurs. Of course, they'll be able to view th those enclosures over here with other viewing s sets, but, you know, just for now, because we want to make the gyro station, you know, stand out. All right, so we need power. Ah, oh, it just, it just can't reach. That sounds acceptable. Okay, so we need to edit gyrosphere route so we'll just go around here and then disconnect go around in water yeah 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 oh thank god there's a bit of there's a gap right here I was like oh no how am I gonna get this through Okay, we don't want it too far in, you know, because we don't want it to eliminate all the forest. And for now, we'll just have it go... We'll just have it loop back around because we haven't built over there yet. But we will as soon as we probably get a mission because I have no idea what the missions are anymore. Okay, so now let's get it to the max amount of gyrospheres allowed. Vehicles will need... No, we'll need 10. And what dinosaurs can we... Ex do expeditions for contours. We don't need that right now. We already have enough. Serato, no, we already have that. Compies could be a good one. I already have done over there. Let's see what's here. Parasaurolophus, we're fine with. Nasutoceratops would be a good one for its own enclosure. Apatosaurus as well. That's more Ceratosaurus. Edmontosaurus. Draco Rex. More Draco and Edmont. Hmm, what should we go? Hmm. I well, can we research any dinosaurs right now? <laughs> Go for Draco Rex, actually. It's a different species. We already have some ceratops, a ceratops and stuff. So, yeah, we'll go for this guy first. And do we have any fossils to extract? Actually, that's a good question. Yes, we do. Right, we got loads of Carno. I remember where we were. Yes. Okay, you, and then you. Yeah, this will get Karno to 100%, I'm pretty sure. If not, pretty close. Okay, three, and we'll need to arrest this guy as long as we can, because I think we have a staff center. Yes, we can rest him, good. 
Okay, so now the gyrosphere should be picking up people soon. Oh yeah, because well, hasn't let's speed it up. Just because. So we'll probably be getting aviary first, so I'm probably gonna I'm gonna work on this side first because there's more space to it. And the lagoon, we're definitely gonna have most source and probably that's it. M Remember, we don't have a giant stuff, and I don't know what all the mission is. I know we'll need space for Indominus, the raptors, other dinosaurs. So we're not going to make it, like, the biggest. Although, you know what's kind of funny when you think about it? Um, what is it? The, oh, there we go. Well, I'll get back to that as soon as I finish so it's... Blair, uh, Mr. Mizrani would like to see an increase. uptick of the guest count. That means we need enough accommodation to cater to a larger audience. Those are real profit generators. Absolutely. We will make sure to focus on it as we move forward. Okay, so we just need to increase our profit, but we need to focus on... Okay, well, we can't... Apparently, we can't increase the profits on this guy. Though he's already in the negatives. That's not good. You're in the negatives. I don't like that. Should we have a viewing event over here on these sides of the enclosures? I think we should, because then we can have, like, a path in between to make sure... Yeah, I'm gonna do that. That'll be a good idea. Okay, so... Do we not ha Oh, we don't have this research... Mm. Well, I guess I should research that. That would be a good thing. Alright, there we go. Monorail will be done. And then what we can do is probably put it over... Like, probably over here. We'll put a... We need a path. Oh yeah, it's obstructed by the hamster ball. And then, so we'll put a monorail here, and then what we can do is have it loop around here, sort of make a Main Street guest hub here, then enclosure here, and then the aviary will go here, and bada bing bada boom, let's go and... Oh no, the expedition's still not done. Wow, geez, that is taking forever. But we can finish up Carno. Nope. Alright, fine, go there. Alright, now let's make the monorail. As long as it can fit here. Which it can't, so... We'll have to put it a little bit farther out. What what happened? I didn't complete anything. Okay, so you go there. You go there. So yeah, we'll have aviary here, guest hub here, and then on this side, the enclosure which will have Apatosaurus and Montosaurus and the monorail can go right here should be fine and then we'll need to probably even it out for flattening because we don't want to waste too much space Okay guys, I am back and I have gotten the monorail set up and the land flattened. And as you can see, I sort of got the path sort of set because this is where the viewing will be for the guests for this enclosure mainly. I'll probably also be extending it over here to have like a little guest hub for viewing vents, but I'll have this as like a decoration view, you know, using the scenery items to separate it, you know. Something I like doing actually now, but this will be the strip where we have the viewing vents for here and also for when we get the aviaries we'll have them probably over here with the tour looping around this way over to here into this out there in here and then probably out back around here and then there and we are good. So now first we need to work on the enclosure for the apatosaurus, which also I should probably um, press play. 
And what do we need? Scenery items first. Let's do that part first of the enclosure. So we'll use... Should we use the rocks? Well, what rocks do we have specifically? Like, do we just have the tropical ones? Okay, so we do have just the tropical ones. They're not bad or anything, just they're not the perfect ones. So we'll put a border, so like here. And then this one can be over here. Oh, and I can hear Rexy just roaring out. And a little there. And let's go. Rock th three. Yeah, the good thing is, while they do have a hit border still, it's good how close you can. Because, like, this would never be possible, even though they're not actually still touching technically. I mean, I think so. They are touching a little... No, they're not touching just the red background, but still, just looking at how much it's progressed for this game, that's awesome to see, and hope they add more rocks, actually, because, you know, I like the rocks that we do have, but more rocks is never a bad thing. Okay, there we go, and we'll definitely be painting this, of course, rocky right here. Okay, up there. And then let's go rock number two. Well, actually, we'll have a pause, like, right here. So, like, yeah, we can have... Let's pause on the rocks. We can go into scenery. And, yeah, yeah, the gyro station's under attack. And should we do the skulls, or should we do the plant feet? Let's go with the planter. We can pretend they're made out of something like steel or something. I think we've got a storm coming. That does not sound ominous at all. Yep, we got a storm. Please don't... Oh, no. Please don't let it be like a hurricane. It's probably nothing, guys. Let's just, um, speed through it. We'll be fine. And then just watch as a tornado rips right through. Structure damage. What's damaged? Oh, crap. It's a fence. Uh, we're just gonna do the proper thing and, well, cheat. Because, as you can see, no more broken fence. Aha! You can't escape. But we do need to, um... Oh my god, the storm is getting a little crazy. Yeah, where where are you going? Oh my god, the Karno is going on a... Wait, what? Oh, sh... Uh, buggers. We'll just, um, do the classic... Oh my god, I can't believe that actually works. Okay. Now you go... Fix that, fix that, fix, fix. Nope, your tasks are full, okay, fine, then we'll just go and send you to fix stuff. Tell me, Rexy, you're not doing it. Don't hit the fence. You are fine. Though your fence is a little damaged, so we'll go and fix that. Okay, so that wasn't too bad, nothing too dangerous. Just, you know, a little bit of a heart attack is all. And Rexy's a little annoyed. Okay, so yeah, we'll need a viewing... We'll need our viewing... Our classic... Where is it? Attraction... Nope. Attractions. Okay, so we'll have... Okay, so... Viewing platform... One. And then... We'll just add the fence first before we add the others. That way we can keep it somewhat straight. There we go. Then we'll add it straight up to here. And then, we'll, of course, curve. And then we can add, uh, let's see, probably two viewing vents. One here. 
then one here, and then we can add a path, and then of course have the guest facilities right here, of course with the usual ones over here with probably a hotel going... We could put a hotel right here, actually. Or would we... We could have scenery here, then a path. Let's see, how big is the small hotel that is? That's the important question. Oh, it's a good size, actually. Nothing too crazy. We'll put it right here. And then path. Of course, we'll have it as fancy. Ooh, fancy path. And, of course, going... right there and then we'll need a wide path there we go one and Edmontosaurus is done so we can make both those two. And the music is saying we're doing good, even though for the profits we are doing terrible. I don't know how we're doing that terrible, but maybe it's because we don't have anything over here. So first we will, uh, where is it, hatchery. We'll add a gate here. And then we will add the guest facilities which we'll add, we'll add them to the far end first because we want to make sure that they do walk over here. So then we need this, then we need the bathroom, well no, this, and then of course a bathroom, and then a shelter. Because we'll have both pteranodons and and these guys over here, which I'm not wor really worried about these guys, the only one I have to worry about is the apatosaurus because this might not be big enough although we are going around here so we should be fine speaking of which we might want to add that fence over there all right let's go Let's change the skin of these guys, and we'll see how they're good with each other first, then we'll probably add, um, wait, blank pattern, oh yeah, eh, actually let's just keep them the way they are, that's fine, we'll only change Edmontosaurus because I know it's kind of weird without the turquoise, because that's what it's going to look like, okay, assign a scientist, if we can, Six, seven, there you go. And then Edmontosaurus. And Draco is only two. Short lived. Can we change that? Please tell me we can. Yes, we can. Okay, we can shrink that only by one, which is just really weird. Okay, fine. Wait, no, no, we need to change the skin as well. Because I don't like the Death Valley on its own. Let's go with... Ooh, purple. I haven't used the Yukon yet, so... Let's try Yukon and Montesaurus. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're definitely going to be in needing to have those guys rest in a minute. Oh, yep, we did it. We got two stars. That was awesome. Very good. So, let's see. Flying Rept... Oh, research complete. Oh, yeah. They're resting. Damn it. So what's... Which ones do we have? Ooh. So we got some done. Oh, we got some Gareptus and Dimorphodon to be made. Pterandon can be researched, as well as Trophionagus. What do we get here? Okay, so we got Gallimimus unlocked. That's a good one. Wait, do we not already have Gallimimus in the park? Yeah, it's Gallimimus. Oh, yeah, because we just can't... Okay, that's kind of weird, but whatever. Okay, so research. 
Okay guys, we are back and as you can see, I built the aviary, which actually is a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be, so we actually will have space for possibly a second enclosure over here, which, uh, yes, the Sungariptus, which, let's see, can we actually make some? Okay, so sickly, can we actually change that? No, we cannot. Okay, so we need to research the shark. I don't want them getting sickly because there's this weird glitch in the game, which they've Frontier have said they will... Damn it, I can't. Medicate five dinosaurs. Great, I need a disease. Don't get do anyone. There's this weird glitch in the game that sometimes, for some reason, the medical facility won't be able to medicate the pterosaurs, which is a little weird. I don't know why it is, but, well... Okay, so yeah, we can have the blue, and hmm, what should we have? Let's go with purple. We'll have purple Sungariptus. And here comes the Apatosaurus, and what a lovely rainy day. So yeah, we'll probably be able to put the Dracorexes around here, actually. We'll have this flat as the guest area still, and then over here around this monorail area, the Dracorex can go, and... Maybe other species can go with them. Now, let's check on the Edmontos. What do you need? Okay, so you need ground fiber, and you probably will... You'll probably need more for your species. That's... Did not come with... Yeah, the... The fruit came with fiber. Oh, they just need to sense it. Right, I'm an idiot. Yep, they're starting to sense it, which it's all around here. Yeah, so we need one more for their social issue. Yep, there we go. You are happy with that. But, okay, so you won't be annoyed too long. Oh, we've got an undiagnosed ailment. Let's send you to go and deal with that. And the Sungarip... The Sungariptus should be done. And the Apatosaurus are on their way. Let's check. Oh, yep, they are ready to go. Well, at least this batch. Now let's make these ones. Now, okay, only one sickly, that's fine. Okay, there you go. What the hell is the disease? Okay, so I just go, I, I don't pay attention to you for two seconds and look at you guys. You're all getting the sniffles. Well, actually, no, otherwise I wouldn't be able to cure that. But I think we can... Activate these. Activate you. And then you. And then you. And you probably won't be making a profit straight away. Yep, you're not making a profit. But that's probably because you guys are annoyed. But I think it's fair to introduce the Sungariptus. And then... Oh, and yeah, we'll get a Piscivore Veter. And there you go. We've got the Sungariptus. Let's release the other batch as well. I don't want to forget about them. And then we'll, of course, get a research on the fish feeder. So they don't starve. Because that would kind of be a little bit bad. Just a little bit. And good thing we have enough scientists for that, apparently. There you go. It's under research. And all we'll need to do is make a few more of these guys, then we should be good. Deal with this disease, whatever the heck is... Oh, it's tuberculosis. That's just fantastic. Okay, guys, so we have finished up this. As you can see, they're all getting sick, which I can't cure them for some reason, because God forbid this game works with, you know, the mobile vet unit doing its job, but, well, I'll figure out how to fix this later. But anyway, guys, we will wrap it up for here. We just need to make more Montosaurus later in the next video. Also add Draco Rex over here. And then progress the mission and get some profits up. You know the drift. But if you've enjoyed this video, guys, I would appreciate the like. And I'm pretty sure these are all dying because, yep, they're starting to die. They're all getting on low health because... Jesus Christ, what is wrong with this game for some of these? Well, yep, they're all in the red. That's just... 
there goes money down the drain. But if you've enjoyed this video, guys, I would appreciate the like. And if you haven't already, do hit the subscribe button to join the hunt. Be safe, and until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, yep, Woo's annoyed with me. Great. Don't blame me, Woo. It's their fault that they're not able to get hit. Yep, they're all going to die. Well, I'm going to have to replace every single one. Jesus Christ. Well, just screw this. You will stop and you'll go and just deal with this guy. Add task. Deal with him. And then we're going to probably just let these guys croak because they're all about to. And in the next video, guys, we'll be back with them all replaced. So if you've enjoyed this video, appreciate the like, blah, blah, blah. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.